Hey what's up YouTube, it's Chickens here, back again with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get your favorite villager to move into your town, as well as how to kick out unwanted villagers. So to start, you are going to need Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. You can find those on eBay, usually around like 3 to $5. Sometimes there's more expensive ones around like $10. But they're really cheap, so in my opinion it's kind of just worth it just to get them. So the first thing you need to do is go to your town hall, then you're going to go to your Nook Miles uh, ATM thing. And then after you build the campsite, uh, Nook's going to tell you about like a new feature and invite and be build campers. So you're going to go to that. So here I am on the ATM here. So go with an amiibo camper. I click yes. And then you get your amiibo card and there's like a little like kind of like chip thing on the back. It's like a little like square. So you just touch it to your um, your right thumbstick and then you just get the scans the amiibo card and then it just invites you into your campsite. So as you see, it's like this screen here. So I'm trying to get rolled in my town, he's my favorite villager, so I might rolled over. I've had him since City Folks, so I'm just trying to get him in every single game now, so I have his amiibo card already. But after he just plays this little cutscene, then the screen's gonna turn to white, like right now. Alright, so after that... It just kinda takes a while. So after that, uh, roll just appears in your campsite. The day of, so you don't have to wait at all. So I'm gonna walk down my campsite right now. Well, it's really kind of a mess right now, so just like ignore everything. I'm just trying to unlock the uh, terraforming stuff. But go down your campsite. You'll, you'll see there's someone there now. Go outside and the world should be in there. So I already did this the day before, so the thing they do is that every day they're going to ask you for a DIY project. So they're going to ask for three separate DIY projects, so it takes three days to get your villager that you want into your town. So just keep talking to him until he gives you a uh, DIY project for him. So he's asking me to build a beekeeper's hive, but I don't have the recipe for it. So if you don't have it, they just actually just give it to you, which is kind of cool. So then you just go out, collect all the items, and then just come back and build it. So it's like 10-15 minutes later, after I collected all the items and built the uh, project. This one kind of took a while because it was a beekeeper's hive, so it took like three wasps nests. But usually they take like one to two minutes because I already have all the materials in my house, so I just run back and build it. But I gave him the item. So he give you something back, usually like clothes or uh, furniture or something like that. He gave me bunny ears today. Basically, thank you for putting all the hard work. And then after he's done with this, you're gonna want to talk to him again. And he's gonna mention like, hey, this island's pretty cool. Maybe I should stay here. And then you're gonna tell him, hey, stick around. Why not? But he's gonna say no the first two times. And then say invite him like the campsite maybe tomorrow or like next time, and you'll probably think about it some more. So then you just wait. You don't have to do anything after this. If you keep talking to him, you'll just get like the same dialogue, like three dialogue boxes. So you just wait for the next day to come, and then you invite him over again. Alright, so now it's the next day in my island. I already did all the stuff you saw in the beginning by inviting him through the ATM with my amiibo card. So, all you do is go back in your campsite, you're gonna talk to him again. So you talk to him a couple times until he get asked for a DIY project for you to do for him. So you see I talked to him another time, he didn't say anything about a DIY project, so you just talk to him again. And then now he's asking for a barbell, so I just go back to my house, get the materials and go make it. So here I'm done making it, just give it to him. So he'll do his usual dialogue spiel. And then today he's gonna give me a furniture. It's this time it's going to be a simple panel. So after this you're pretty much done. This is the third day by the way. So just talk to him one last time. JK, uh, do it twice. <laughs> And he's gonna ask to come to your island again, you say sure move in, and this time on the third day he does say yes. So after this you are done, the screen just fades to black. So I do have an open plot on my island, so Roll just moves into there and Tom Link just sells it to him. But if you do have a maximum of 10 villagers in your game, it's gonna bring up like a little screen, it's like show all the villagers faces, it's gonna give you an option to like choose which villager you want to kick out. So that's like a really useful way to kick out unwanted villagers. I'm not sure if the build just takes over from their plot or if they build a new one. I haven't seen it yet because it's still very early in the game. The game's only been out for like a week and a half. But after that, I'm pretty much done. Just go check my plot to make sure Gold confirmed to move in there. So just running by. Here's my little flower hybrid beating thing. So let's check my plot. As you can see, it's sold. Check the name on it. Or you clap first or laugh first. Check the name. It's rolled, so we're all done, and now rolled will be moving into my island tomorrow. So that wraps up the video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just to repeat again, this does require amiibo cards, and it will take a minimum of 3 days if you don't time travel. 
But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It's very much appreciated, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.